All right, off to a good start. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna review this. This is our old um, Bostitch uh, drill driver. And this isn't a hammer drill or anything like that. It's just a regular drill. And uh, we decided to do this because we uh, decided to part ways with this. We're replacing it with a uh, Ryobi uh, hammer drill. And uh, we decided to <clears throat> do a video on this. I guess not too many. I mean, this this isn't something you normally see in in stores. I mean, maybe maybe the stores you go to, but we don't really see this. If you go to say Home Depot, Menards, well, Menards, I think they have some tools yeah. of uh, Bostitch, but it's not a common brand that I would I would say is a common brand. I wouldn't say this is a common brand. I would say more so like um, <clears throat> Black & Decker Ryobi, stuff like that. If you go to Home Depot, maybe Rigid, you know, you see Milwaukee, stuff like that, Makita. <clears throat> um, but we decided to do this video, give our experience with this. We've had this for maybe four years, I would say, or five. Yeah. Um, has the light on it. And looks like a half inch. Yeah, it's half inch. And this is metal here. The rest plastic. But <clears throat> this is really sorry I keep clearing my throat. You know, this is kinda like a very little sleep at early morning for us. Um just in case people are interested in this brand this actually we had before, prior to this we were using only and this is what we use mostly is rigid here um, this is the first time we're gonna have a Ryobi like I mentioned earlier but aside from rigid in the past uh, this we were able to get our hands on at a great price so we decided to try it and once we had it you know, it's not it's not super heavy like the uh, Ryobi hammer drill that we uh, reviewed uh, not too long ago. It's not super heavy, but it does have some weight to it. But this is this is kind of nice. I mean, we tested the only thing we uh, uh, had other than this was a rigid. Um, and we had two after some time. We had the uh, older model rigid, uh, I don't know what uh, generation, but uh, then we got our hands on a brushless rigid uh, drill. And it seems like this seems, it's not brushless, but it seems like it perform better than even the rigid. brushless rigid. Ri rigid both rigid uh, drills that we had so we were really impressed with this I mean it seems like it has a lot of power the the speed torque it's really nice the only thing I was complaining about before is and this is the kit that it you know comes it's an 18 volt lithium battery these are the batteries they're not that big but depending on what you do that shouldn't really be a problem um, comes with two batteries <clears throat> like I said here's the charger for it the issue that I had was it's nice it has the light but given the position it's it's hard to I don't know if you guys can see that yeah. you want me to turn off the but when you're drilling hit the, uh, the 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 lights here sorry about that we're always prepared uh, when you're drilling I don't know if you can see that sometimes the position of that uh, light sometimes like it's it's difficult to see your target you know what I'm saying the uh, the screw head or 
then the uh, the where you're gonna drill. Okay, you can turn them back. And the biggest thing, what for me, was the batteries didn't have an uh, an, an indicator light here for the uh, for the the current charge. That was the only thing I really complained about. never really had an issue with this it's it was served its purpose it served its purpose and as you can tell we used it <laughs> 22 positions here I don't know if you would say 22 or 22 and a half or something I don't know and then you got the drill the drill but yeah maybe this is 24 I don't know. I don't know how they do this. So, but yeah, if you guys are looking for tools, and I think they look great. I think they look nice. If you guys are looking to buy a drill, and you're like, well, they got Bostic, but I'm not sure about that brand. This falls under that family, that whole uh, behemoth, which is. Who, who's the owner? Stanley, I think? Yeah. Is that the top? I think so. Yeah. If you're looking at Black & Decker, Stanley, and I think, is DeWalt in there as well? Check. I'm not sure. Sorry about that. She's gonna, she's gonna look that up. But if you know Stanley Tools, which, in my opinion, I'm gonna just say it, they suck. Um, Black & Decker, and I'm gonna say this, we actually use a lot of Black & Decker here. And I mean, I d don't think that we have a huge section. We have like all their tools and stuff like that. I have a, uh, like a trimmer for outside. We have a trimmer. We have two of them from Black & Decker. One corded and a, uh, one that's a battery. And then we own like maybe, I don't know, five, five or six batteries. Yeah. Uh, big batteries too. We have a blower for outside, you know, like blow, a leaf blower, like, uh, you know, if you have like grass or leaves or something like that. Um, we've used, what else do we have a Black & Decker, is that it? Blower, trimmer. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But we've worked with some of their tools before. I was really interested in that. They have like something like, like it's like a drill, but you can, they have all these different attachments, like called the Matrix. Um, interested in that, but I can tell you that based on that, I mean, you might see that, um, it, uh, it seems like they make some pretty decent stuff and a, and a lot of people still, still like it. I know a lot of people are going to say, well, it's not like it wasn't in, in, you know, before I know like back in the day, maybe they were making better stuff, but yeah, I believe Stanley might own Black and Decker and uh, Bostitch, but this is a this is a decent. Uh, we've had a this is a decent tool. We've had their. Um, it comes with this bag too. We've had a a backpack that we got a hold of from Bostitch and it seemed like really nice and heavy duty sorry I'm like kind of distracted here um, a backpack you know you can see some of their stuff at the store some some different things like toolboxes like little tools here and there they they're uh, I think they're kind of big in like the staplers and stuff like that I know you're gonna be like really a stapler but yeah staplers you you might see it see that name in, the, in that section over there um, they do make I believe hammer drills too right hammer or impact yeah. I mean they, they make a lot of different stuff don't think they they don't and um, yeah it's it's we've used it I mean we're not using this on like a regular basis you know sorry if that's what you're really looking for but um uh, we did use this quite a bit for a lot of projects around here 
you know, building things with wood and drilling holes, you know, screwing down stuff. And when we were doing stuff like that, it was like, like for a long time, like hours. <laughs> It was for a long time that we, you know, that we're down there. Sometimes uh, we're out there building things and it's, we might start, let's say 6 p.m. and we don't finish till maybe 6 a.m. <laughs> we're out there, you know, and we, we usually use this with the rigid, you know, we use this in, in combination with the rigid. And um, like I said, it's never let us down. It's a, it's really nice, heavy duty, and we didn't baby it or anything, as you can probably tell. And it, it's been there, and it's it's a good brand. I really don't regret purchasing it. And if you guys are looking for something like that, we're gonna see if we throw more info there. My my wife handles all this stuff in the videos, and uh, um, all I do is basically is talk. <laughs> And uh, she does a really good job of trying to grab uh, as much information for you guys in case you guys are curious. And she'll probably put it in there. Maybe I'm I'm mistaken with the uh, Dewalt. Sorry, because I think it's Black and Decker. Because they merge. Because you know the colors of Stanley and Dewalt. Like I might have it like uh, mixed up, but I do know for sure Stanley Dewalt and uh, Bastich. Uh, Stanley owns, I believe, or or it was like a merger or whatever, Bastich and uh, Dewalt. Uh, but yeah, if you're a fan of any of those, like you know, falls under the same company or whatever. So not bad. Seems like pretty high quality stuff from these guys. If we had a chance or if we needed to buy something else from Bastich, yeah, I wouldn't he hesitate. Now, Stanley, I mean, I know you're going to say you just said if you're interested in Stanley and stuff like that, it's all under the same thing. Yeah, but I bought a lot of stuff from Stanley. Not too long ago, especially. Almost, I'm not going to say almost everything. Like the biggest things that were like, oh, this is nice bought a big like mechanic like a uh, ratchet or isn't mechanic that tools. Me mechanic tools it's yeah. like uh, some wrenches and ratchets yeah. right yeah. Some, some, something like that I was excited about it and they failed immediately like like one of the ratchets like I mean we barely used it and it failed I was so pissed off however it could have been the environment it's like a sandy kind of area but i mean to to be honest with you i mean we didn't feel any difference in the ratcheting and we didn't like feel or hear or feel anything like uh oh there's some sand in there or something like that and it's gonna fail soon no what like out of nowhere it just like stopped ratcheting and i'm like this is bullshit like I experience shit like this when you're picking up a tool at like Walmart or your auto place like auto parts place like you're just grabbing any like any shit off the shelves and you're just like whatever I just need to get this done that's when I experience something like that not when you go to a store and they have a lot of different tools and you're just like okay I'm gonna grab probably one of the bigger names up there and guess what it was in a huge set not a huge set, sorry, but maybe like a 200 piece yeah, or, or not like even that. like a 200, something like that though. And yeah, the, one of the ratchets failed right away and I was pissed and I'm like thinking to myself, I'm never buying shit from Stanley again. And I guess I don't have to because at that time when we bought that, we bought a lot of stuff from Stanley, mm -hmm. <laughs> from Stanley specifically. And, um, that was that was a bummer. But this, very happy with it. Black and Decker, very happy with that as well. And um, so, you know, if you guys are, you know, looking at this brand, again, like I said, like three times already, definitely recommend it. And if you guys have an experience with this brand, and this isn't something I think most people know about, but if you guys did ever give these guys a try, 
you know, you can put your comment with your experience with them. Um, but yeah, for us, I'd say definitely, like, probably like an A+. Plus. I mean, given the price, too, I mean, yeah, I, I, I can't expect the world, you know, like a battery uh, status, like, indicator over here somewhere, you know, telling us, like, oh, you gotta charge it, you know, 50%, whatever. But, it's not bad. It worked. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys watch the videos. You, you, you take something away from it, like, useful, you know. And, um, Oh, and another thing, kind of annoyed me because we do have uh, black and uh, black and Decker tools, and we like I like I just mentioned, and um, I was thinking to myself, oh, that's cool. So I bought a lot of batteries for the black and Decker, and I already know Bostitch and black and Decker, and you know Stanley and all that. They're you know under the under the they're all part of the same family or whatever so i was thinking to myself hey might be able to use those huge black and decker batteries here nope they're not interchangeable and i know a lot of people might say well we can't have the world but you know i thought because they were part of the same family maybe i would have gotten lucky but no so that's something to think about as well or to consider case you're curious but yeah thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed it and took something away you know some benefit from the video so take care um there's something i wanted to add here i mentioned before maybe you've seen our other videos if you're actually interested in whatever we post we did a video about a ryobi hammer drill that we just <laughs> got our hands on and I just want to show, this is the Bostitch bag for this drill driver, okay? Fits in here, not much of a problem. Charger, I don't know if you guys can see. Then the extra battery, guess what? Room to spare, okay? All fits there in a nice tight little package. Now, if you've seen that other video, and I'll try to have my wife maybe take like a clip, like a photo. Ryobi. Whoever designed or packaged that, you can't get the damn hammer drill with the handle into the bag. So you're going to have to sit there like a moron, disconnecting that shit every time you're done. And you're like, well, I'm going to put it away. See, if they would have gave a bag like this, I could fit it in here. I could fit it in here with the charger and the extra battery. But they decided to give you a nice small bag and kind of screw everyone over that bought it. But that's just something I wanted to uh, to point out. You know, there's still room in here. Still, still room after you have the uh, chart. Yeah, tools. you could put more tools in here. Still extra room, Maybe extra other space. Yeah, yeah. If you have like an impact driver or hammer drill that that, that you got with it. Maybe they were thinking ahead. And, um, yeah, so there's room to spare in this bag, not like Ryobi. So, Ryobi, you can learn something from these guys. <laughs> but, yeah, that's all I wanted to add. Thanks.